Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate message to new followers on Twitter using Socinator. It's always a great idea to message new followers and Socinator will make it easier for you. Let's start with the accounts manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your account and hit go to tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Twitter through Socinator. Let's go to Message to New Followers tab because we want to message new followers on Twitter. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to message a number of new followers within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for Message to New Followers activity. The first one is Manage Messages, where you can create the message you want to send and manage them. So if you hover on the Spin Tags area over here, you can see the format. So you can type several messages and separate each message with this symbol. Let's message in the message text area. Let's say, hi, thank you for following. Then separate it with this symbol and you can type another message hey thanks for the follow and separate it again with a symbol say how are you so you can type several messages and separate each message with this symbol you may delete by clicking the clear all button and it's gone you may also import from csv or text file by clicking this button select the right file and click open and it's successfully added. You can also attach a photo by clicking the photo button over here and select the right picture you want to send and click open. If you check spin tax, it will randomly select one message from these messages and send it to your new followers. For queries, let's check default and when you're ready, click add message to list. It will then show up in the messages list over here. The action button will allow you to edit or delete the message. The next category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should message new followers. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 17, medium with 37, fast with 65, or super fast with 85. If you want to define your own speed settings, click Advanced Settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Twitter follower is messaged. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after messaging the number of users you set and number of messages per job. Number of messages per job will allow you to specify the number of Twitter followers you want to message per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of followers to message per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max message per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to message new followers even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on Monday, Click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example. Provide a start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it Twitter Message Followers and click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Twitter Message Followers. The next tool is User Filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to message on Twitter. Check this box if you want to target English speaking followers. You may also specify the minimum number of tweets of the follower you want to message. This one will allow you to specify the followers and the followings of the user. You can also specify the follow ratio, which is ratio of followers and followings. 
you can input the follow ratio greater than or smaller than a specific number. You may also specify the minimum number of characters in the user bio. Speaking of user bio, you can specify the words that should not be in the user bio, username, or name by typing them in this box. Let's say you don't want to message users who are into politics or government. Then separate each word with a comma. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking the button and select must not contain, for example. Click open and it's uploaded successfully. Click save. The next one is the opposite of the previous one. Words that should be in the user bio, username, or name. Let's say you want to target followers who are into pets, cats, or dogs. Then type it in this area. Separate each word with a comma. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking that button. And select the right file and click open. And it's uploaded successfully. Click save. The next one will allow you to specify how active the user is. So user tweeted within the last, let's say, one day. You can also skip followers by checking this box. This one will message users with a profile picture. You may also skip private users, muted users, and filter user based on verification. So you can choose to skip either a verified user or those who are not verified. The last configuration category is manage blacklisted users. Blacklisted users are the Twitter profiles you do not want the software to interact with. In this case, Socinator will not message blacklisted users when this box is checked. This can be a private blacklist, which is actually a blacklist that belongs to a specific Twitter account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start messaging followers, let's scroll up and hit the save button, success, and after that, click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating message to new followers on Twitter using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app, click the social drop-down button, and select Twitter. This will take us to the accounts tab, Let's go to the Messenger tab and select Message to New Followers. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Twitter Send Message to Follower. For message text, let's say, Hey, thanks for the follow. So this is the message you want to send to your new followers. For queries, it's default. Then click Add Message to List and it's added to our messages list. For job configuration, an average daily activities of 17 should be okay, so let's select slow. For user filters, let's target English speaking users, has profile image, skip private users, and muted users. For other configurations, it's up to you, and let's skip blacklisted users. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Twitter accounts since we only have one account right now. Let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. Since this account already has configuration settings, saving these new campaign settings will override the previous ones. If you want to proceed, check the box of the account and click save. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where we can see that we have successfully created our Twitter send message to follower campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow you to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.